Hey folks, Sydney Phelps with Bonnie Plants. You know, a couple of weeks ago we were talking about growing indoors and I showed you the Miracle Grow 12 unit so you could grow hydroponically year round inside. Well, I thought what a better way to show you a full commercial scale than to come to Auburn, Alabama today. And I'm in Extreme Greens and I'm joined by Rolf, who owns Extreme Greens. Rolf, thank you for being with us today, but tell us a little bit about all the opportunities and the, the products that you grow here in Auburn. So we uh, originally started out with uh, lettuce and uh, progressed into tomatoes and cucumbers, microgreens. Uh, we also do hops now. So uh, there's, there's different options for you. Uh, it's basically what, on what your needs are. And, and I, you know, I would recommend starting with lettuce. Yeah, and you've got lettuce here. This is the artisanal blend, which you were talking about earlier, uh, here in the greenhouses. Let's, let's talk about this. So we've got plug lettuce in front of us here. Traditional gardens are, are, are gonna seed this. They're gonna grow in a container, or raised bed, or even in the ground. Tell us some of the different challenges that you have and the timeline difference, whether it's an increase in production or a decrease in production by, by doing indoors here commercially. So um, indoors, you eliminate some of the factors that you have outside, but you know, it's all centered around daylight hours. In the, in the middle of summer, from seed to transplant into the channels over here, it takes about two weeks, and then three to four weeks from when we will harvest the product behind us. Um, in the winter time, you're looking at about two to two and a half weeks seed to transplant, and then it could be up to six, seven weeks before we harvest. All right, now so it takes a little bit longer in the winter. Tomatoes, tomatoes are one of those things where you know you, you kind of have different challenges from an indoor perspective, but also where traditionally our gardeners are going to grow in uh, outdoors. Their plants are gonna be anywhere from six to eight feet. Indoors, you get a little bit more usage out of your plants. So tell us about uh, a traditional indoor tomato crop for, for hydroponic growing. So uh, tomatoes indoors, we will grow indeterminate tomatoes. So we'll seed them in June and we'll grow them year round until June of next year. So from seed to harvest, uh, we'll start harvesting in October and uh, we'll keep on harvesting and cleaning and leaning those tomatoes until June of next year. By the time we harvest the last tomatoes, we take those tomato plants out, they'll be about 35 to 75 feet in length. Okay. So that, that we're not gonna have a cage that large at home, obviously, so it, it's a lot of process, uh, a lot of moving, uh, you know, trellising, adjusting, um, very labor intensive process. Very labor intensive process. You have to bottom clean, have to sucker to make sure you get one stem growing, do truss management. Harvesting is a little bit more intense too because it's all done by hand individually. Now the cucumbers are going to be similar to that um, just because you know they, they, they like to trellis but uh, are any other challenges that you see with that uh, from yeah. growing? So cucumbers, we grow, uh, we start the cucumbers similar. They take about three to four weeks from, uh, from seed to transplant. And once we transplant them, we let the cucumber grow straight up. And once it starts growing back down again, we, so we don't lean them, we don't move them. They'll produce for about two months. And then you, you mentioned hops. Hops is something that you're, you're kind of speculating and, and yes. learning. So how's that process Hops going? is new. So hops grows very fast. Hops. Uh, once this, the, the rhizome is established, those vines will shoot up about a foot a day. They grow very fast. It's still a learning process for us trying to figure out how to manage them and how to get uh, good, decent production out of them. Well, Rolf, thank you for being with us this morning. Folks, if you're ever in the Auburn area or Columbus area market and you're having dinner and you're looking at a fresh salad, they very well could have come here from Extreme Greens. If you want to find out more, check out their website or go to bonnieplants.com or check out the app Homegrown with Bonnie Plants. Send Sydney an email if you have a question about vegetable and herb gardening. You can reach him at simplysouthern at alifarm.com. That'll wrap up another episode of Simply Southern. Thanks for watching. I hope you'll make plans to be back with us next week for a very special show. That's right, we'll go digging through the archives to revisit all of the places that you, our viewers, voted Bama's best. I'm Mary John. And I'm Jim Allen. We'll see you then.
Simply Southern is a production of the Alabama Farmers Cooperative and the Alabama Farmers Federation.